yeah. Hello, everyone. Suzanne, get a little bite real quick. There you go. Whee! Everyone eats. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video here. We're starting off out here at the farm, but we are gonna be doing a lot of really cool things today, as always. Now, the last two videos have been on this beautiful 120-gallon turtle pond that we built, then bought I'll turtles for, which was super cool. And now today, as like the final touch to it, we are going to get fish for it. Now, we can't get guppies, because I'll explain a little bit more later, but we can get a little bigger fish, and those are what we're gonna get today. So stay tuned, stick along, epic video. We're starting Starting off, like I said, here at the farm, we're gonna feed all the animals and then go on to something else. Oh, oh, oh! Kevin, what up, Kev? High five! Or not, all right. Someone screenshot and comment how many ducks are in this image right here. Don't forget Kevin. I love how the pigs eat out of this thing. They use their body to block all this food so that they can eat backwards. Here comes Boots. Bam! <laughs> Oh, another one. One more, one more. Woo! Here you go, Boots. Eating up. Gotta love coming out to the farm, feeding all the animals. Here we go. Let's get a good scoop for the big pigs. Oh, what did you say? A little bit over here. Yay! Oh. Jeez, Florida, where's winter at? Come soon. Actually, it is. <laughs> Only a couple weeks away. Typical Florida winter day is probably like 55, 60. It's like about as cold as we get around here. I feel like you big boy got a smile on your face all the time or something. You're so cute. <laughs> you talkative. There you go. I could officially say Look at that belly. Oh yeah. You got some babies in you. Love that. I have 21 pigs already. The last thing I need is a pregnant one, but hey, looks like I'll possibly be having 27 here soon. Oh, Bufo Toad. You got stuck in the water bowl, bud. There you go. See you later. Don't miss out on these little baby piglets. I'm like 99.999% sure she's pregnant. Just look at the stomach on there. Look at that. Looking like Lulu two and a half years ago. So make sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss on that notification where I, it says. Thank gosh for these shade sails. That's all I gotta say. Sometimes it's so bright out that my camera white balance can't even like correct itself. As you can see, our hogs also got brand new bed shavings so they could actually, you know, relax and hang out. Although a lot of the times they decide to lay in the mud. Pigs are pigs. 4,000 gallon pond. Come on, everyone. Look at all these fish. So pretty. You got fish all over the place in this thing. Look how big our gar is getting. Look at how big our biggest red tail is. I mean, massive. I can't wait to do some more projects with this 4,000 gallon pond. I got some things in the works in my head. Lots of stuff going on behind the scenes that you guys will eventually get to see. Like these turtle ponds. Yep, can't show these at all actually. It's completely blurred right now. I'm so sorry, Kefaros, but that's because I got both these being completely remodeled. So just wait. That's one of my upcoming videos. I just ordered the filters yesterday. So once those filters show up, bam, we're going to bring them on over to the other house where the fish room is and get these suckers. Look how big the snapping turtle is. We're gonna get these things all set up, remodeled, live plants, super cool stuff. We are back from the farm inside the fish room and I did, don't know who dropped this off in the front door. Someone literally dropped this aerator, commercial aerator, not cheap by the way, these things are like a hundred some bucks. Knocked on the front door, left it there. So whoever that was, thank you, I guess. Thanks. I don't, it, it's a dope aerator and I'm gonna use it for the 1,000 gallon pond. So we got the 1,000 gallon here. It is all set up, it's ready to go, it's ready for fish. Y'all have been commenting what species you wanna see in it and of course I'm not gonna spoil it and tell you what I'm getting for it, but I think I have a very good idea on what I wanna get for it. So that video is soon to come. Our peacock mantis shrimp over here has eaten all the shrimp inside its aquarium. I went and got him a couple more live shrimp. He ate them all. He also ate a blue crab we put in there. So if y'all wanna see a video of me going out getting crab coming back to the fish room and feeding our peacock mantis shrimp live on camera let me know in the comments down below this guy would uh, love for us to do that over here as you can see look at this we got one and two new corals so we got two more corals on my day off I was just kind of hanging out went to Andy's shop and bought two more corals I did of course film that that one looks really nice there beautiful huh <laughs> I just came to get our water, but you know, I never leave empty-handed. 
I also got some more food. Look at that. And this is just to add some more color, a bit more bulky. So yeah, we got two corals. We also added another little arrow crab in there. So we have one arrow crab there and another one back over here. And you can see the little fish that we got a while back. He's sitting in the back. There he is, swimming around. So all the fish are doing great. Where's our Nemo's? There they are. They always hide at the top until I turn these lights off. Then they just, they kind of swim around. See? This pink stuff, these crabs are supposed to be taking care of it, but unfortunately they're not doing too good at it. So I have Tommy coming, he's gonna check it out and do whatever he's got to do to fix that. I already ate this morning. Beta fish down there. I like to give you guys an update as much as I possibly can. Look at the tank. If you guys didn't see, I put plants in the beta tank last video. How you doing, buddy? Woo! -hoo. There he goes. This tank's looking good too. Gotta get the lights on. Bam! It is looking good with that UV sterilizer in there. We had an algae problem in here. Now resolved. Look who's out. George! What's going on, George? How you doing, bud? Whoa, you ready to eat or something? Did I just dab? Oh my gosh, that's now it's the turtle pond. This thing is coming along great, as you can tell. There's, oh, 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 you're gonna run away from me. Yep, you are. There's a whole bunch of turtles in here. There you go, bud. Albino in the back there. Come here. We got an albino right here. In the light, you can see the colors of how pretty this yellow belly is. Look at that, look at the pattern. You got that guy in there. Couple more turtles. This pond has a good amount of little turtles. Definitely needs more, that's a fact. It just looks a little too bland. Even when there is a lot of turtles in here, we need some colorful stuff. And by colorful stuff, I mean colorful fish. It's time to get some colorful fish for the 120 gallon custom turtle pond. It's kind of cool doing projects like this because we do the building videos, then we do the getting whatever I made the pond for, and then we do like touching it up. Doing the substrate and stuff like that we did last time, and now it's time to get some color. We're gonna head to the local pet store right over here. They have a good selection of goldfish and other fish that we might be interested in. So we're gonna head there and see what we can find for the turtle pond. I mean, just doesn't get much better than this, huh? I mean, come on, we're surrounded by fish tanks. Let's go. We are here at the pet store and um, we got a good selection. We got some koi fish, little tiny koi fish, but we know we don't ever buy koi fish anywhere because we got a mixed day koi. This is more like what we're looking for here, right there. Hey, buddy. Oh, and they're cheap. They're only four bucks. Those are cool, and so are these. I'm thinking for a 120 gallon tank, I know. So good selection over there. Over here is where all the platies are. Now, I was gonna say we could buy a bunch of platies, which we probably could do because they're quick enough to get away. But a lot of the time, those little snapping turtles. These angelfish down here are cool though. I've never seen all black like that. I mean, you can't miss that thing. That is beautiful. With the blue background too. Again, I can't get anything small like the guppies because our guppies got eaten last time by the snapping turtle, so can't do that. Probably could do platies. We might even give that a try later on, but I'm just afraid they're gonna get eaten, so we're gonna go the safe route and just get a couple goldfish for now. Like, it would be really cool to have a bunch of these little sunburst platies in there swimming around. They have the brightest little colors, and they breed like crazy, which would be cool to have babies in there as well. Right here, I'm gonna do literally just like those, those five. Oh, yeah, yeah, the whole tank, yeah. Okay. Now that I think about it, it's 120 gallons, so. So we got a total of five, five goldfish right there. Check out. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Got all our fish, fellas. Now we can officially get back to the fish room put these colorful guys into the pond. The turtles were all literally just basking away and vibing the second I show up, of course. They're Dude, look at him just vibing. Snapping turtle. Guy's over there, he's right there. But look at them. He's got his legs hanging over. Snapping turtle don't care though, he's, he's just chilling still. It's hard with this wide angle lens, yes, although it's good when I'm holding the camera here and it gets everything around me, but when I'm getting close up shots, I only can zoom in so far. Now inside this bin, you don't see this every day. Am I right, Chad? Yeah. This is a tailless tilapia. It's tailless, look, it has no tail. It's just completely missing its back tail. You see from the other side, it was just born without a tail. We're gonna put our tailless fish into the turtle pond as well today. I don't want him sitting in that bucket anymore. There you go, bud. He's gonna hide right away. The tail of sloppy is in the 120 gallon now. 
Just wanted to show you that all this time, that's what was in this bucket, by the way. And he's gonna get bigger with no tail. I caught him when he was this big, and he is now like that big, so we'll see. We have our goldfish right here. Look at him. Look at him sitting in there. And we're gonna put him in for acclimating. Coming at you live here at the PC Fish Room. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna retake that. Uh, all right, here, let's try that again. Welcome back to another, the pitch high, too high. All right, we got goldfish. Yeah, I need to, I need to delete this. Here we go, we got all the goldfish right here. Going in. See ya, buddies. Oh, this poop, got it. See, now that I think about it, I probably could have got another 10 of these, but we're gonna stick to five for now because I do eventually wanna get some mollies or platies or something. If we get good sized mollies and platies, we'll be fine. What's back here? Look at the other albino. He's hiding from us right there. The other turtle tubs, again, are making their way here. I'm going to be putting them on the side of the fish room, as you can see. Good amount of shade here, although I wanna build an overhang for them, and I wanna put it right here. So right there, we will have a remodeled turtle tub, and that turtle tub's huge. It's probably about 100 something gallons. It'll be right there, we're gonna bring it here, redo the entire thing, and again, that's a video that you're gonna see this week, so. I appreciate and thank every single one of you for watching. If you do wanna check out the merch, it's top link in the description. Look at all the little goldfish. They're hiding under the live plant. Hey guys, you are gonna be eating flakes right off the surface here in a little bit. Look, I literally have flakes just for you. These guys, I promise you'll be eating right off the surface. I mean, right off the surface. And wait till these beautiful vines start growing down into the water. You wanna go in this pond? It's a lot bigger. Huh? Huh? Without further ado, Caferos, I know it's a shorter one than normal, but I'll see you right back here in that next video. We got fish for the turtle pond. Peace!